which reminds me of the same. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Serious. No, we have to be serious. serious. Super serial. All right. Super Fuck serial. it. I'm even gonna do the interview like that. All right. Hi. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Mr. Smiles here from JST Media. Thank you so much for tuning into Smile TV, and I'm here at the Underground Rock Shop with one of my personal favorite friends, Cassie Hammond, who is a fellow artist, and we're here to talk for just a few minutes about what's going on today. Does that sound good to everyone? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm going <laughs> to go back to character now because that's kind of hard to do and say a lot at the same time. So how have you been? Pretty good. <laughs> Living life. Making shit happen. All right, sweet. Nice. Well, obviously we're at the Underground Rock Shop and there's an event going on. Uh, what's the event's name again? It is uh, Lupercalia Paraphilia. Luper... Lupercalia... 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 Paraphilia. Paraphilia. I wanted to write that down. Anywho, uh, so what? what's technically a Lupercalia Paraphilia? You get my okay. LP. Yeah, yep. So okay. what is the show? We'll call it LP. So what's the show LP technically about? Um, It is fetish, fantasies, fuck love kind of stuff. I mean, it's February, so, uh -huh. you know. Had to, you know, had to bring some dark, mm -hmm. twisted, screwed up stuff into the underground rock shop as far as, you know, doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, uh. And we yeah. all have our fantasies, and yep. I think this was a good place to start yep. in the underground Which rock is, shop. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I am wearing the belt. Mm -hmm. Poster child for auto erotic asphyxiation. Nice. Yeah, I kind of got that going on with this thing right now. <laughs> okay. It's so, so studied, you know. But anywho, so that being said, uh, what made you want to start? The, are you running this show? It is me and Matt Graves. We've uh, we've combined our. We've combined our brains, uh -huh. um, and we've really started working together on these things. And I mean, we have more artists coming in, and just it's, you know what I mean? Like it's it's me and Matt. It's me and Matt's baby, and like that's kind of where, you know, where it's stemming from. And we we really work hard, and we really go back and forth between each other, and, and make sure that everything is taken care of. We have certain people that bring food, you know what I mean? So it's like everything's kind of taken care of. It's very community based, very you know, you know everything is produced by the artistic community that we're trying to, you know, trying to establish and set up. Well, from what I can tell you, you're doing a phenomenal job, and I really appreciate it. As you know, I like to support as many Absolutely, people as I possibly yeah. can. I, that's why I'm here. But uh, that being said, I also noticed that uh, this one seems a little more uh, well-structured compared to Technicolor Nightmare. That was the last show that I talked to this uh, person with. I messed up on that young lady with. <laughs> so, anywho, uh, was Use that word very lightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady. Yeah, it's like me being a gentleman, yeah. <laughs> uh, so the, so uh, my question is, uh, was this show a little bit easier to uh, set up and run? Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Um, no, they're, they are all just as hard as each other. We just get better at handling it. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, it's the more practice you get. The there yeah. it is, you know, there's always going to be a cog. There's always going to be an issue. There's always going to be, you know... There's always going to be an artist that gets upset. There's always going to be, you know what I mean? And and I think that we are, we're getting better at dealing with that and making sure that everybody's absolutely comfortable because, like, that's the main thing is, like, a lot of artists don't want to come and do things because they don't like the way that it's structured or they don't like the way that, you know, they're doing it or, you know, anything like that. So, I mean, we're getting better at structuring it and getting better at, dealing with the little cogs that come up and when we do have an upset artist we do cater to them and make sure that everything is taken care of because we don't want you know we don't we don't want the reputation of being you know oh they excluded me you know what I mean at all we don't want to be you know have the reputation of you know they you know totally didn't listen to what I had to say they totally just you know my experience was bad we want everybody to have an amazing experience we want everybody to be accepted all levels of art, you know what I mean? You could draw a stick figure and come to one of our art shows. You know what I mean? It's all based on you and your talent and, and what you want to do, and that's the biggest part of it. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, so far, from my experience with you and your work and everything and my experience with this facility, you have done a tremendous job in that. That is my opinion. And uh, so far, I've heard great, great reviews about your shows. Now, I'm not going to name names, but I will say I've been given like if you got a star rating you usually get about a four and a half star the other half is like uh someone get drops off and they leave or something and you know they didn't get a chance by the artwork or something or the yeah. artwork is already sold yeah. but those are people that are just like damn it i wanted it first yeah myself included <laughs> not gonna lie there's some paintings and i'm like i want that one it's sold you bitch 
<laughs> Fair enough. That's why we make prints. That's exactly. That's, that's why, why we make prints. prints. We gotta start making yeah. prints. Yeah. So uh, I noticed inside that you have artwork uh, available for sale and everything, yes, I and I uh, also noticed that you have this nice, beautiful Joker painting. I do. And uh, I think that's a very beautiful. Uh, I think that's a very beautiful and very gory picture and everything. And uh, I also noticed, you know, you have recurring artists that you had come here last time. Uh, what all artists do you have? here at the show, just off the top of your head. Take it down. Is, You're, good. Hand. You're good. Okay, all right. <laughs> hand symbols. Okay, um, that threw me off. Um, we, I mean, we really try to bring a lot of people back. We really try to, you know, build this community. Like I said, like that is the main prerogative. Like we want an underground art community and we mm -hmm. want to, you know, we want to stand and show what we can do, you know, to the people that, you know, don't let us into the bigger venues, that don't, you know, don't cater to, our type of artwork um mm -hmm. we have nessa obviously and she's she is just she amazes me because it's like she went from photography and stuff like that and i didn't even know she could paint mm -hmm. and then she shows up and she's got all these like beautiful pieces of artwork and it's just like whoa girl like what the hell you know so um nessa she's reoccurring um we have uh lori grewell again who i if there's a show i want lori in it like end of the day, I want Lori in my shows. She is so freaking phenomenal. Like, she makes me literally just want to turn my paintings around. Like when she walks in, she's like a freaking superstar. Like she's just amazing. Can't say enough good stuff about her. Um, newer introductions. Um, we have uh, Dalen did our uh, Dalen did our Christmas show. I believe yes, she did our Christmas show, and. Um, you know that was her first like real art show and stuff mm -hmm. like that she's very nervous and, you know stuff like that she comes she came in today like a freaking rock star like superhero oh, yeah. style um she's amazing she's just she does all these dolls and these like beautiful masks and stuff like that and then of course you know my co-pilot you know matt and you know he's another one of those artists where i just want to turn my shit around like <laughs> if i'm next to him like anywhere near like anywhere near his artwork i'm just like don't look at mine like just go look at all the beautiful colors and like all the wonderful shit over there so yeah. we have a lot of returns we always want to bring more people in and we do have some newbies and you know they're they're excelling and going past my expectations yeah. so I mean I I want to keep doing it for a really long time and I want to bring as many people as I can into it because we deserve a place well you know what I agree 100% and I want to be the guy that sits here and with the camera and the, and the software and everything in my fucked up face and I want to <laughs> say hi to everyone as you know I like sharing the love as we're talking about sharing the love right now, let's go ahead and go into the Underground Rock Shop showroom with a buddy of mine, and he's going to start showing off that particular painting we were just talking about a second ago, the Joker painting from this young woman right here. All right, so take it away, buddy. Thank you, Smiles. Hey, everyone, I'm Mr. Smiles, and we're here at Glen's Gamma Cassie, and we're going to be taking a look at this little painting that she has for us to, you know, examine today. And isn't this a beautiful, creepy piece of amazement? I love it. Uh, so, hold on, this high. Okay, so what's the story behind this painting? Um, a lot of things. Um, I'm starting a series. I really, really, really love the Joker. Like he's, I'm a huge Batman fan in the first place, and I really, really love the Joker. And he's just, he's, you know, awesome. And um, so I started. I'm starting a series called Jack's Joke Book mm -hmm. because you know that's how I know him. Like I even like based my drag name off of him. And, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. um, this is the first. Jack's joke book um, and I got this really crappy <laughs> this really crappy book at um, an, a book sale and it was like full of all these like really disturbing war images and stuff like that and um, I got it home and like pages of it were stuck together and I couldn't read it and I was like really really bummed out about it and I was like well the pictures are still cool let's just let's use them so underneath him is all of these horrific war crimes and I started looking at it and I'm like well, how can I make this better you know what I mean like how can I how can I make this better you know let's let's put something on top of it that would appreciate this this war and this torment and this horror mm -hmm. like, screw it we're gonna put the joker on it so we threw the joker on it and then um just different like quotes that he's done obviously here kitty kitty bats Who's afraid of the big black bat? You're nothing without me. Um, ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Stuff like that. And I'm covered with smiles and anarchy symbols and fuck you Batman symbols. 
So, um, yeah. So, uh, in total, how long did it take for you to make this beautiful piece of work? This was probably 12 hours straight. Just straight through, 12 hours straight through. 12 hours. You know, it's kind of interesting when you look at these paintings like that, you don't realize how much time is put into it. You know, it's just yeah. like you're making videos <laughs> and everything. Well, that being said, what's the hammer price on this guy right here? This guy is 250 250 Wow, yeah. that seems kind of reasonable. Wing, there's the price right there. <laughs> um, is this by chance uh, currently available for purchase? It is currently available for purchase. All right, and then I know it's kind of a dumb question to ask after I ask the price, but whatever. So um, that being said, uh, where would someone be able to go to contact you to purchase this piece of work? Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, it's Kazzy Hammond on Facebook. And then um, I, I display a lot of my stuff here at the Rock Shop. Um, he usually is in there in the rock shop. I'm going to start working on the completed series, and then I'm going to move on to Scarecrow, and then I'm going to move on to Catwoman, and I'm mm -hmm. just going to get all my villains in, and just they're all going to have mm -hmm. at least five pieces done at like, you know, five different points of time in my life and stuff like that. So as time progresses, there will be a lot more Batman themed shit. Okay. <laughs> because okay. I live and breathe Batman. All right, Gnarly. What's the, is there a name for this That's particular right. piece? This is Jack's Joke Book Cover yeah. 1. Cover one. Well, this was Jack's joke book cover one, and um, this little guy's available for purchase. You know where to go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the interview right now. So go ahead and take it away. See you next time. Thanks, Miles. All right, so we're back. I love you. Anywho, so that being said, you know we're all, we're about to run out of time and everything. So my question to you is, you're gonna do all these shows, and you hope to be around for a long time. What is the end result of what you want your persona, your character, your personality to be? I just want to help people. Like I, that's that's really what it's come down to, and that's been my whole quest, like my entire life. Like I have I have Batman complex, where it's like if I feel like somebody's you know downtrodden or not being respected or not being treated with you know the same level as somebody else, and they're just as good, if not better. Like I want I want people to have a place, and I want people to have. A safety net and you know a place to express themselves and you know just be amazing because the people that I've met and the people that you know come to these shows are just they are just that they're just fucking amazing and so I mean if if it never moves any further than this mm -hmm. and I've helped an artist step out of that box or that shell or that scared place mm -hmm. then I've succeeded more than I could ever fucking hope for mm, okay okay and that you mean maybe I promised myself I wouldn't cry. See, the beautiful words from a beautiful person. I think we all can agree with you right now. Shut up. I think we all can agree right now that she's doing a great job. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time. All right. Terrific talking to you again. Good talking to you, man. All right. Stay here. That was, <laughs> that was Cassie Hammond from Des Moines, Iowa. Amazing local artist. If you want to hear more from her, you know the drill. Check the description below. Once again, I'm Mr. Smiles. We're at the Underground Rock Shop. Thank you so much for tuning in. And just remember, smile, I'm watching.